Two Broke Rednecks present... Holy shit, that music is ominous. Remember kids, only pinkos don't watch this. That sounds like a horror movie title. I wonder if they'll have giant monsters in this. So they filmed this thing in a castle. Ah! Killer bees! Let us face, without panic, the reality of our times. You mean the fact that our economy is in the toilet? On our cities. And let us prepare for survival, understanding the weapon that threatens us. Grandpa tried to use the microwave again. An atom bomb destroys or injures in three ways. And makes By ants and gila monsters and into giants. The blast of an atom bomb is its most important destructive agent. The blast has an agent? Can we sign with him? By its force. However, many buildings of sturdy construction, even though close to the explosion, remain standing. But we're seriously messed up. The principal dangers of blast are flying glass and debris. Well, duh. The fires it may start, and the danger of being crushed in collapsing buildings. The atom bomb destroys by heat. But you just said it destroys by blast. Miles away suffered flash burns. Yet, protection could have been easily achieved. If we had Here, called ahead. The and rail shielded the surface behind it. Any solid material afforded similar protection. And you thought Obamacare was bad. Look what Japan has. The third weapon of the bomb is radioactivity, thrown off at the instant of explosion. Thus, Godzilla was born. Where the majority of people exposed to radiation recovered completely. The rest were used for emergency lighting. Suffered serious radiation sickness. Today, they lead normal lives. If you they consider children, being psychologically scarred from the bombing normal. These then are the weapons of the atom bomb that we must protect against. And hope the damn dirty commies don't. Our cities are prime targets for atomic attack, but mass evacuation would be dangerous. Would be An what? Like I don't know. Just go with it. Empty and unproductive. No, they want if a high body count for a better score. Our factories will be battle stations. Production must go on if we are to win. Dude, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret about the Cold War. Our we won. And homes will also be posts of duty. Not Says in the Ray Rice Guide to Marriage to knock you out if you get out of With line. knowledge of the first atomic explosions to guide us, our chances for survival will be far better than those of the people... Where can I get a book version of this film? If we act on our knowledge and are prepared. The first job is to look over your own home for shelter possibilities. This room if would make a perfect a torture chamber. Well-built. The cellar is the safest place to be. The lower you get, the more barriers there are likely to be against blast, heat, and radioactivity. Select the basement wall nearest the probable target area of your city. If the house is blown over, it will most likely fall away from this wall. Because they tell us exactly which direction the blast table, was coming from. Get under, move it into your shelter area near a wall or strong supporting column. If the time comes when you actually have to take shelter, lie under the table. This way you can die looking like an idiot. If you live in a home that has no basement, you are so screwed. Windows on the ground floor. An interior hallway is probably best. This in way, search crews know where to find your remains. Be of mirrors and other objects that might cause injury. Because you don't want to see how horribly mutated you become. If you live in an apartment house, rules for taking shelter will be posted in your building. Which I'm Learn sure in this era, also, bomb shelters read whites only. Shelters in areas where you work or frequently visit. Because nobody should die alone. There are many things you can begin doing right now. Yes, but Dad said I had to watch one. this film. So clean up that attic. Keep waste. This in guy's gonna get fined for not recycling. Don't let trash pile up in the yard. Oh my God! They've not seen our yard. Supply of canned goods. They're safe from radioactivity. Have a good flashlight on hand. Which won't work after the EMP poles given off by the bomb. Keep a first aid kit and learn how to stop bleeding. Make a habit of keeping a bottle of fresh water handy. Which will get tossed out when Indiana Jones climbs into the fridge. For receiving vital instructions. Finally, prepare the shelter area and collect all necessary shelter equipment. Yes, work those muscles. 
Mama likes Rawr. In case of an actual raid or test drill, kiss your ass goodbye. Warbling siren blast, lasting three minutes. That is one huge butt plug. It's the bomb siren. I'm mildly concerned. Once you hear this, get the hell out of Dodge. down the shades or blinds and close the drapes against flying glass. This way you can ensure more debris will be flying in the air. Disconnect any heating elements such as electric iron, hot plates, or bathroom heaters. Then volunteers tribute. Outside doors, but leave them unlocked. This will make it easier for looters to rob you. Turn off the gas or oil burners. I'll lock little Billy in his room. Should I leave him some food? Screw him. Let him starve. I call dibs on the table. Taking shelter may be a race against time, even when you have some advance warning. But possibly, there may be no time. No time? What sort of messed up parallel universe do you live in? Are we in Mayberry? Flash! Ah! Oh, savior of the universe! Fall to the ground immediately. And assume a pose to leave a hit shadow silhouette. So stay where you are, until you're sure it's safe to move. Now they're just pelting the sky with shit. If you are at home when a surprise attack occurs, call beneath the table if it is very near, or drop I see Grandma has been listening to Bert the Turtle. The immediate danger is over in about a minute, unless the explosion occurred near the ground or water. Okay, who tried to divide by zero? In this case, Radioactive materials are trapped in the particles of dirt or water thrown up by the explosion. Don't plant vegetables there. We don't need killer tomatoes. So get indoors immediately after a ground level explosion. Cover broken windows against radioactive dust with blankets or cardboard. Be prepared to hide from your neighbors who are horrible mutated giants now. Civil defense radiological teams equipped with radiation survey meters will check on contamination in any bombed area. They will then laugh at you as you die from radiation poisoning because you just had to look at the damage. If you have been exposed to radioactive dust, watch Ignore the blood in your poop. Pay particular attention to your hair. Get all the dirt from under your fingernails. Wash your nasty ass. If the people of Hiroshima and Nagasaki had known what we know about civil defense, thousands of lives would have been saved. But they didn't because no one's ever had an atomic bomb before. And preparation can mean survival for you. So act now. And Someday keep the Julianne Fry Maker as our gift. This film's on CD too! Dear Bark Rednecks, we don't make bad movies, we make bad movies better.